Hello beautiful ones and crafting friends. Welcome. Thanks for stopping by. This is your boy RJ. I hope everyone is doing well today. Today I'm here to start back on my series of um, creative fold cards and I wanted to share with you um, number 11. Um, let me put this disclaimer out there before I get started. The music that you hear in the background is from my um, iPod. Um, I don't own the rights to the music, but it is music that I paid for. Okay, so let's get started. So you guys, um, I had shared these on my Facebook page. And um, just to see what um, reactions I would get. And um, you guys, where I get my inspiration from is I follow a lot of people that follow me as well. And um, I love um, to follow some of the Stampin' Up! demonstrators out there from around the world. And that's where I get some of my creative fold um, um, inspiration from and also on Pinterest. So this card that I'm sharing today is a card that is called a Center Easel card. Um, they're very simple to make. Um, it doesn't take a lot of um, materials. And you can... Um, mass produce them if you um, like. So the first one I'm going to share is the one that started it all and I'm not sure um, who the lady that I got this inspiration from but I'm not for sure if it's um, uh, Debbie Balder or um, who's the other girl that I get them from but I will make sure that I put that person's link in the description to give them credit and a shout out to but here's my first card that I started with and this is the one that I um, got the tutorial from um, where I was sh um, sharing with you guys so here's my first one and um, what it is is that you have these two um, your, um, outer um, portions that are um, your base and when you open the card up it turns into an easel and when you do that is by lifting this and it goes up and you have a stopper to stop your um, your easel so that you can have it stand um, this is um, this stamp here is from Jenny Long it's a Father's Day stamp set that she um, did last year Oh, here we go. I have it right in front of me this time. It's this stamp set here. Um, this is by Sizzix. And, oh, I'm sorry. This isn't Judy Long. I apologize. This is Caitlin Lynch. This is Lynch or Lurch. And I will leave her name in the description as well for this stamp, for this particular stamp set. Um, it's a nice stamp set for Father's Day. Um, it has uh, My Hero, um, Happy Father's Day. Um, here's a um, stamp that has a lot of little icons. Um, baseball, football, saw, hammer, mustaches. Um, um, World's Greatest Dad. Um, this tie says, um, I love my dad and a little mustache here and best dad ever. So I got that from that um, set. Um, this paper pad is from um, Die Cuts with a View. But it's one of their um, off-brand names. And I'm sorry I don't have it right now. But I will make sure I put that in the description. And um, you can check out that on my blog. If you want to know about all the measurements and everything like that. So here's the first one that I did. And then so um, I wanted to modify it. And so what I said, when I say modify you guys. I mean I want to make it bigger. Um, that was a standard A2 size card. And I wanted to go bigger than that. So um, I went and... Um, came up with the measurements and I end up creating this one um, this stamp set is from Gina designs and um, I purchased that from her last year um, this paper pad is also from um, die cuts with the view as well and I use my um, Sizzix circle and it's the same premise as the other one is that you lift it up and um, you have a stopper you can also put your message in here if you like to 
or you can um, write it in there. It's all up to you. And that's that one. So we're going to make one like this one, but in a different style. So I'm going to give you all the measurements and everything that you need. And if um, you don't get them all here, just go to my blog and I have them all um, listed there. Okay? So if you're ready, let's get started. Okay, now I don't know what I did with my product, you guys. I had this all ready to go. All my um, items was die cut, cut out and everything and now it's like it did a disappearing act oh my goodness are you serious <laughs> you guys um can you give me a minute I'm gonna step away for a second I think it might be in my other room Guys, I am in here freaking out. I had just had all this stuff ready and prepared. Found it. Okay. So what you're going to do first, you guys, is you're going to need a either a piece of car stock, which is six and a half by ten, or you can take a piece of car stock that comes with the um, recollections um, or Paper Studio brand um, envelopes and cards that are five by five by six and a half. And what you're going to do is I've already did my prepping um, in advance because I know this video was going to be a while. So what you're going to do is you're going to open up that piece that that card stock and you're going to put it in the your trimmer on the six and a half inch side. And you're going to um, cut it at one, cut it at one and a half, no, one and three fourths, I'm sorry. You're going to cut it, you're going to put it in your paper trimmer, and you're going to cut it at one and three fourths down to the score mark. Then you're going to flip it over and put it at one and three quarters, and you're going to cut it from... The, that point all the way down to the score mark and stop. Okay. Once you've done that, you're going to take your centerpiece, put it into your scoreboard, and you're going to score it at two and a half. And then once you've done that, you're gonna you know you're gonna need to glue the left and right side. So you use um, what um, adhesive that works great for you, but for the um, purpose of this video, um, I'm going to use my glue stick. Um, I like the way it makes it more sturdier um, after it's sealed, so that's what I'm using. But you use what's good for you. So you guys, um, how's everybody? Um, I hope you're doing well. I know it's been a while since I've been um, I've done anything. I've been going through some personal issues, um, and so I've been trying to take care of that and get me together. So I'm glad to be back. Happy to have you here. Welcome to all my new subscribers. Hello to all my subbies out there. Um, most of the people that get to see me most of the time are my Facebook friends because I'm on there most of the time when I'm not on here. Okay, so you guys, so this is what it looks like when you see it. So you have your two closed flaps that you cut at um, one and three fourths on each side. Now this is where it comes in where I'm going to have to turn back around so I can see it. So now what you're going to do is you need... You need um, a layer and designer series paper or pattern paper here 
and you need something here and you need something here so we're gonna work on the outside the left and right side first so you're gonna um, so what I did is I'm using um, silver and black and white so I've already like I said I, I tried to pre pre um, cut everything so I, it wouldn't be a long video I know it's gonna be I try to try to keep them short so um, I have my two excuse the glare because I'm using um, silver um, cardstock so um, the first layer of cardstock is one and five eighths by four and seven eighths and you cut two of those and that's what I did that's my first layer now for my designer series paper I cut it at one and a half one and a half by four and three quarters and I cut two alright so now um, we can um, adhere these but before you do that um, you're gonna need a inside piece here so that you can write your sentiment and have your um, stopper and that piece is cut at two and seven eighths by five I have it written down by five oh I'm sorry by four and seven eighths so it's two and seven eighths by four and seven eighths and that's the part where you're gonna have your uh, your you can your stopper and your um, little message so let's sit here those first so that we can get that out the way so I already did all of this So um, for those that are um, just now watching me or following me, um, I have a giveaway for my 2K subscribers. So if you're interested in being a part of that, um, I will leave a link to that video in the description and all the information to be a part of that if you'd like to participate. Um, I have three giveaways for that um for um for my um 2k giveaway and um I am doing a surprise giveaway which means that um you won't know what's in the box until you get it home and um I really do hope that you guys will like what's in it um the the main prize is a value of three hundred dollars and the other two prizes are just something to say thank you to all those that have been um you know being around um commenting on my videos and stuff like that i know that everybody in, is busy and they have their own things to do but i do appreciate you guys taking a moment to um even stop by and make your comments so i'm almost done with this part I need to add the um, centerpiece and then we can go on to the decorating the outside layer and to um, and the front so other than that I've been pretty much hanging in there you guys um, things are kind of getting rough over here but you know all you can do is Pray and hope for the best, and that's what I've been doing. So my num num, uh, Mike has had a birthday. We celebrated that. That was fun. Um, we didn't really do much of anything. It's just pretty much me and him hanging out. Okay, let's see, I got that part right. So here's the inside part, and this is the part that's um, two and seven eighths by um, four and seven eighths. And this is where you're going to put your um, stopper and um, write your message if you wish. Now we're going to do the sides. And again, if you want the information, it will be posted on my.
my blog. There's that one. Um, I got this um, foil paper from um, Dollar Tree. Um, I know that I did get some also from Michaels when they had the um, sale on theirs. But um, same quality. Um, it was just that I had this on hand and it was easier to just get to than trying to um, look for the other one. Okay, so we have the two sides and the inside. Now we're going to work on the outside. And uh, these two squares here is once you um, scored it at two and a half. It made them um, three inches by two and a half. So I made my um, layer of silver um, for my backing layer, uh, my first layer. I did that at three, no, two and seven eighths by, what is that? One, two and... Where'd it go? Oh, okay. So it's two and seven eighths by one and a quarter. And you need two of them for the top and the bottom. So that's what I have here. And um, so I wanted to make this one into a um, a wedding thing. So I already um, cut out my um, my image and my sentiment again, so that it would make the video go a little bit more um, quicker and smooth. So I'm adding my layers to the front, and also. See, yeah, I have all my layers, okay. And then now I'm gonna place my sentiment and my image um, on top now. So, so here's my okay. So I this is this uh, image that I did. This is one of my dies that I um, picked up, and I used that. And here's my sentiment. So I'm going to attach my image to my sentiment first. I use my um, Xyron to um, make my image sticky. And what you need to do is on the bottom half of your um, your cardstock um, just so that you can adhere it to the bottom of your card so that it can move you don't want to put it through the whole thing or you'll glue the whole thing to the card so I'm going to take my adhesive off attach my um, Attach my um, sentiment image. Perfect. Now, now we need something to stop it so that it can um, stand. So I have um, this heart that goes to a, another die set, and I'm just going to add some glue to this because. I have been using it so much that I guess the stickiness um, went away. So I'm going to add a little glue to this and attach it to the um, bottom. Um, I um, stuck the heart on some um, dimensionals. Ok. 
Okay, I'm having an issue over here with this um, this glue. Okay, then we put our stopper. Something simple. It gives you enough room to um, write your write your sentiment. And there you go. There's my um, modified center easel card. And again, if you want any of the, the um, if you want any of the measurements, I will leave them on my blog. And it will be in the description, so you just go over there, and it will have all the measurements for this card. Alright, you guys. Thanks so much for your time. I appreciate you stopping by. Um, if you like this card, please like this video. If you'd like to um, get more content from me, please hit that um, bell over there on your right corner. And um, check out my next one that comes out. Alright you guys, thanks so much again. As always in party, I wish you peace, love, and blessings. Until our next time, take care. Bye for now.